Uh, hey guys, so um, a while back I did an update on my new uh, White's Tree Frog Habitat. Um, so this is what they ended up with, which is just perfect for them. They are all hiding in the very back there. Um, but I wanted to show you, I wanted to add more live plants, um, but I was really nervous about getting those um, mushrooms um, spreading back in the tank again. Um, so this one does not have um, soil. It has a drainage level with a false floor to kind of keep moisture in, um, but there's no soil. This is just moss. Um, so what I did was I went and got, I, I wanted to add more live plants, but I wasn't sure how to do it without having a soil. I mean, I have like the one little pothos over here, which is kind of sad <laughs> in its little pot. Um, and that's it. So I decided to try an experiment. So I went on eBay and I bought these tiny, tiny little seeds that are made for like swamp area. It's like a moss that you can grow. Um, and so I sprinkled them in here and I've been keeping the moss wet and I can already see baby moss popping up. So I am hoping I mean, you can kind of see it. It's kind of hard to get the camera to focus. So this is live new growth over here. I don't know if you can see that very good. Like right in here, um, it's all live new growth. So I'm hoping that before too much longer, I'm going to have a whole bed of live moss. And that's going to add a whole new layer for them because they're going to have something green, something living. We'll have the oxygen. I just love life plants. I just think it's fantastic. So um, I am so excited to see how that works. So um, hold on just a second and I will show you what I am using. Okay, so this is what I bought and I just got these on eBay and they're from China and of course, like, I can't read this. Um, so they're just these teeny tiny little seeds. Um, and I know they were meant to go in an aquarium, so I actually even put some in with the firebelly toads. And they are growing in here too. I mean, you can see them. Um, kind of growing along the edges over here. Um, see them here kind of popping up in different areas. Sorry, it's kind of hard to get into these little nicks and crannies. Hey, you guys, they're all hiding. They're really good at hiding in here because there's so many hiding places. Um, so it's popping up in here too. So it looks like it can grow straight in water like this. This is moss underneath. It's a different type of moss though. Um, so it can grow straight in water like this. It can grow um, with its roots in water over here. Um, and then it can grow um, like in the moss bed that I've got down for the whites. So I'm really excited about this stuff and I'm hoping if it works good, I think I'm going to go and put it in everywhere where I've got like um, the dried moss. Well, it's not really, I mean, it, this is just the stuff you can get like from Zoomed or wherever, you know, like it's just the, um, like the bedding stuff, but it's not living and I'd really rather have like, you know, more of this living live plants in here. Um, so that's my plan. I'm hoping it works. I'm really, really excited to see how it goes. So, um, stay tuned. Look at that. Every corner. Oh, I'm so excited. So I'm going to replace this fake one. It's just in here right now because they like to hide in this corner and I haven't found something for that one yet. I could probably use some more pothos. I've got the pothos over here and I'm hoping that it will, um, spread and go over like this branch, but it's, pretty small still right now. So, and they'd really like this corner because see, I've got the food down in here so they can kind of crawl in here and eat the food. Um, so, they like to be over on this side and I don't really have a good hiding area for them yet. So, 
need to work on that, but I'm really excited to get some more life plants in here. So um, stay tuned and I will let you know how it goes.